Welcome back everyone to Mass Effect 3. I am your host, Tempest Gaming. Last time we made one of the most important decisions so far in the game. We decided to upload the Reaper code and end the Geth and Quarian War. And we did so by saving both the Geth and the Quarians. But let's not forget Legion. I think, honestly, I think Legion was my favorite character behind Thane. And most importantly, that comes, well, the reason for that is that you act like it's so interesting how they how they made the geth and how how the transaction went from seeing geth as pure enemies to becoming well one of your best friends and impressed you got those two groups together <laughs> me too and well i'm not really sure how i should explain this it's just Oh, that's thick glass. It, it's just... Like, honestly, I found the Geth in general to be... We'll see how long the peace lasts. ...one of the most interesting Commander. Uh, species in the game, by far. And then how they made Legion, that, that just tipped, like, completely... Like, that, that just... That just brought it over. Well, that was just, was just icing on the cake, really. Okay, that's a really bad way to put it, but it was just like very honestly that that made me. Another Reaper gone. The developments of and the Geth between the Geth and Quarians were just so amazing. amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for, something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. <laughs> they're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day. That's fair enough. Okay, so now that I'm done rambling on, let me try to say that again. So, what I'm talking about is in Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 1, Geth were enemies. In Mass Effect 2, you met Legion. Legion showed trust in Shepard. They worked together because they had mutual gain. Legion would have died if not for Shepard helping him, and vice versa. This created an, an interesting image because those are not um, thoughts of synthetics. Those are thoughts of actual people, organics. And the further development with Legion throughout Mass Effect 2 leads you into really feeling as if Legion is a person. And in Mass Effect 3, you meet him again, and you find out that it wasn't the Geth who uh, acted wrong or broke their, broke their promise. It was actually the Quarians who attacked the Geth. And the only reason why the Geth worked together with the Reapers is because they felt threatened for their life. And to top that off, you had that mission in the fighter base. And that really... That was just the convincing... Like, the, the, the thing that convinced me completely. Just the fact that you find out how exactly the Geth got hunted down the in the first place, how they went evolved into a full AI, Bud got like rejected by by the Quarians, and then after they successfully defended themselves, they let the Quarians go. And that basically, all of those things give me respect to them completely. Compared to what the Quarians did, was start war after war. They didn't take into consideration that they were trying to destroy an actual species, not just 
VI creations and they knew that they were not just VI, they knew they were fully evolved uh, AIs and they were really a species, but they still did it. And even more, they did it after they promised they would stay away from the Geth. So if in the end I had to make a choice between Geth and Quarians, which I thought was going to happen when I uploaded the code, I would have picked the Geth. Like, it just that that it it just it's written like that very well. But the thing is, that that fighter base was an optional mission, I think, because it would be very weird if you could now go back to there and and do the fighter base mission. <laughs> that makes no sense. So unless you could do it afterwards if you let the Geth live and you could find out, like, you could prove your theory is correct, pretty much. Although, no, that wouldn't be possible because Legion wouldn't be there anymore. So, I actually wonder what would happen in this situation if Legion wasn't didn't survive the suicide mission on in Mass Effect 2. Then again, how do you kill Legion? I mean, really, he would have his platform would have been destroyed, but he would probably have returned anyway in a new platform. That is. <laughs> nice. They started shooting at the Geth. <laughs> the migrant fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Huh? Hello, Shepard. Oh, no dialogue. Seriously. I mean, at this point, uh, Glyph has more dialogue than Liara. Bye, Glyph. <laughs> okay, guess he doesn't want to be nice. I was wrong. Liara does have more dialogue than Glyph. Garrus, save me! Have dialogue! Peace between the Geth and Quarians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, right. You managed that one too. <laughs> You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Well... Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. Okay, that's, that's kind of next on my list. No, wait. Asari first and then the Reapers. Yeah. Let's do that. Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. <laughs> oh, come on. You trusted Legion, like, blind. How's it going? Very good. Oh, and you forgot uh, we also brokered a treaty with the Volas, the Batarians, uh, the... Oh, what were those jellyfishes called? The... Dang it, I forgot. Elcor? Are those? No, those are not Elcor. Just reviewing some charts. Just reviewing some <laughs> charts. Wow, that's lame. Yeah, I can't remember what the jellyfishes are called. Okay. Let's check out engineering and Telly. How is she getting along with. Wait, let's check out our reporter first. Breaking now. Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. <sighs> Do we fight for More? them or join the Solarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Huh. Commander. Do we need to talk, Commander? Uh, no, you have Not to. Not right now, Alice. You have to post a piece on do. the Geth and the Quarians, because else we. <laughs> oh boy. People will never believe the Geth. Unless... Do you ever think about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. They were actually taken by the collectors. I wonder how traumatic that was for them. My board is green. Shepard. I mean... Nothing to report, Commander. 
Uh, I guess Talia's. Yep. I thought she was standing at their old spot, but guess not. Tally! Can't be. No. Well, I guess that's right. <laughs> hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. Yeah, it's kind of loud in here. Communication from the fleet. Sorry. Say what? I'm from Ranok. I can't hear you. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I don't know anything about raising crops. <laughs> How will your people do? It's crazy. The Geth are... Yeah, it is, healthy, probably. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Wow. The Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. Whoa. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. Wait. Jump-starting... You're even... Okay, how, how did they do that? It seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. Well, yeah, they true, but... They can transfer but... themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. And your They're suits have that? Infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. Wow. Wow, that sounds amazing. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. Wow. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. Okay, but fair enough. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Ranok, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No, I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. They killed you Thanks. without regrets as well. I mean, you uplifted the Geth still. It's only natural that they would help their creators. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. <laughs> the Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Me neither. I was really planning Our on... Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Already? Wow. Hey, Shepard. Okay, so I would have been very ready to uh, to choose the Geth over the Koreans. I really was. I'm liking the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. Uh, I'm not where, sure how drinking Moscow you? late into the night makes me a better crewman. Okay. How does it not? Gives you heart. You need heart <laughs> to this kind of war. A heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. <laughs> yeah, it was a good idea. I could have used a drink, actually. I'm not talking about the game. I'm actually talking I can't about. I believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board, and we can finally focus on the Reapers. <laughs> but I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Nothing ever is. Probably not. One step at a time, I guess. Just, is it just the Asari? We didn't skip over anything this time? 300 years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. <laughs> wow. I mean, we never know, really. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. Same here. I still can't believe you went inside again. I don't even... <laughs> local. Completely local. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I don't even... Cool. Hey. Easter eggs. That's quite funny, actually. Prime for the next job. Okay. Did we find anything? I probably did. Like tons of stuff. Um. No weapon damage. Nah. Let's let's keep the balance. Nope. Um. Sort of have a mixture between Armax and and Kidar. <laughs> ha! So Kidar gives us more weapon damage, but Armax gives us more balance. So I I guess Armax is oh wait I guess ammo capacity? Huh. Interesting. 
Well, I guess we are nearly at the most optimal setup then. Let's see, collector armor. Yeah, I don't think any of these armors even come close to comparing, really. I wonder if you could... I really wonder if you could actually... Um, like, not use all parts of the am armor. Or maybe it's it's just cosmetics and it gives that bonus anyway. I should really try that out, actually. In fact, what else is there to buy? Huh. Cool. Let's get that. It's a gun. I didn't even know there were guns on the market, like regular guns. Okay, Inferno. I think Inferno was the best one. Power recharge, power damage. Well, for, for our setup. Uh, oh, that was... yeah. Algar munitions. Nope. I don't need those, really. Scope. No. And. Cool. Weapon damage. Cerberus armor. Why would I. Well, it has weapon damage. Model of the life ship. Yeah, let, let's buy those. Aquarium VI. No, thank you. Um. You know what? I'm gonna make a save first. But... Yeah, that's not the right one. Uh, it's again not the right one. Which one is it? Casa Fabrications. Let's buy it! Let's buy the Inferno Armor. Let's see what that does. Capacitator Helm, Recon Hood... No? Well, we have 11 now. Archon Visor. Sentry. Death Mask. No? Huh. Does it not have a helmet? I guess not. That's odd. There is no... There's no Inferno armor here. Is it... Hmm. Interesting. Is it this? No. Huh. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be anything here, really. Uh, what did we get? Yeah, we got Armex shoulders. No, we got uh, Kidar shoulders. So that's that's only weapon damage. Okay. So this is if you get all Armex. Well, that one is not really good. That's actually. Wait, that is the same headshot damage and less weapon damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's see this. That's less. No, it's not good. So I guess we do have pretty much the the optimal. Oh wait, armor set. Aha, there it is. Okay, now I get it. Um, well that's pretty pointless. Really? Okay. Now I get it. So that was actually a waste. I'm going to reload that. Wait. Always prepared? Uh, I'm going to reload that save. Auto save? No. Because that costs a lot of money and I'm not going to use that armor ever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let us see. We have more stuff to upgrade, though. I mean, I... It's about time that I really pick a gun. Actually, we could go get, grab the... Why don't I have this equipped? What is this? Okay, carry facts. Let's, let's see how strong this weapon is. Oops. There. Okay. Cool actually very strong 
and doesn't really doesn't really cost us a lot of weapon weight compared to the Hornet. Well, I guess I'm wrong on that. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, yeah, maybe the Hornet's still better. What I do wonder... Uh, would I be able to get one more shot? Increase the spare capacity by 70%. Yeah, that is one more shot, actually. Or maybe even two. That would actually be worth it. That I don't have to reload after three. That I have to reload after four or five. And what do I miss out on that? 12% um, damage and... Speed's perception. Well, let's try that out, at least. And I can still see what's... If I if it choose to stick with it, as for now, we can start finally start focusing on doing some filler again. Ranok, can we? Where is this migrant fleet? All right, <laughs> they still have all those ships. It's kind of interesting. Can we scan for stuff now? Uh, my guess is no. Nope. Okay. Uh, do we have a lot of new stuff to explore? Uh. Wait, why is this blinking? Interesting. Oh! 9%. It's kinda. It's kinda weird. Yeah, I guess we still have some new things to do. This one is still bugged, I believe. Okay, um, I'm going to start these off screen, so be right back. Okay, I finished doing everything, and I checked with the journal, and apparently I have about, well, as good as every single item that I have to collect at the moment. I even got a few more war assets and some credits. So, the only thing left for us to do now, is go to the Citadel, and deliver all of our goodies, check the stores out, talk to some more people, and then we can meet the Asari Counselor. But, I am out of time with this episode, so, next time! Thank you all for watching, have a good night, or evening, or day, or, just get out of here!